Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn from the master, Refak Bari. Watch his videos to achieve your dreams. Okay, thank you. So, today we'll, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, you can stop, Mr. Rudy. Yes, Namaskar to stop. all of our Indian viewers. Thank you for watching. Namaskar, Namaskar. Okay, so uh, today's a quick lecture, but today's a very important day because we will be trying to understand something new called... Oh my gosh! Excuse me. Matrix inverses. This is not the first time you will see them. In fact, just like I covered matrix multiplication in the last 20 lectures, I will cover matrix inverses for the next 40. Okay. Oh yeah. God. So today I'm going to give you a very nice introduction to matrix inverses with this do now. Okay. So this do now you will be required to simply multiply two matrices. Okay. So hopefully. This I was ready for matrix exponent, but not for this. Yeah. Uh -huh. I signed up for inverses. Don't worry, I'll explain one day. Um, okay, so we're gonna fill these up with numbers. So I, I need the onions to give me a few numbers. The so onions give me one, four numbers. Two, one, two, negative one, zero. Okay, and I'll take uh, one, two. Negative one, zero. Okay, now I'll take two of Alex's. Wow. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. Didn't turn up. Then no, no, no. Uh, negative one, zero. Negative one, zero. Okay, that's fine. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, it's not going to be that consequential anyway. We've got 4 too bad. 4 too bad. Find the product. Find the product. That's all I'm asking. Okay, can I go? This I'll... probably looks like a joke, but uh, it's going to be very serious. Yeah, very shortly. Yeah. Okay. Make sure the audience can see what you write. Okay. So, I'm going to use the roll method. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to read left to right. So, uh, make the one three. And then we want, uh, so we want negative one of the first row and three of the second row. So that would give us two, two. And then we want the second row, uh, two, four. So that would just give us six, six. So two, two, six. six. Oh, that's it, student? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, wow. So I see some bogus math happening here. I'll be quick to say that. Oh, no. Looks pretty good. What I meant to write was the identity matrix. Oh. Very good, very good. You spotted my mistake. But you didn't say anything. So, what should this be if I multiply these two? Uh, negative one, three, two, four. Okay, so all your work is now going to win. Negative one, two, three, four. Now, here comes the question. I multiply this matrix by the identity I get itself. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. So now my next question is, what matrix do I have to multiply this by to get the identity as the product? The inverse. Ah. You want that the inverse. Okay, you only know that because I announced it at the beginning of my lecture. What? And yes. Inverses no. are the key. So, so negative one, one divided by negative. So, so this magic matrix magic. will take whatever matrix I get and it's gonna convert it into the identity. And obviously we love the identity matrix. Why? Why do we like the identity matrix? Because it's basically a one multiplication. We can ignore it if we yeah, ever Not only out. that, but identity matrix comes in our favorite forms. Upper, upper triangular. No, it we actually comes in upper in upper diagonal. Here Not only here. that, but the identity matrix is also symmetric. So identity matrix is like the best kind of matrix you want. So if you can transform any matrix into the identity matrix, it's a very, very, very powerful tool. That's why the inverse is so important. And that's what I'm going to be introducing today in our lesson. In our... Okay. Reluctant, hesitant and rebellious students are something I don't like. Nope. Is this do now or exist late? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Lesson. Lesson. You can't go straight from do now to exist late, right? Okay, so my, right now, today is gonna be perhaps uh, one of the worst days in linear algebra because I will give you a formula, but I will not tell you why it works. I will leave it as an exercise 
for the viewer. Is it uh, like software this matter? Uh, yeah. So you will have to ask me. Uh, you can ask me whatever questions you want, but I won't tell you why the formula works. Actually, I don't know why it works. So hey, uh, that's probably it's why. Tractor. Yeah. Um, Mr. Rodriguez seems pretty bored. Can you enlighten him with the yeah. legend of Vygotsky? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, one and one. So, what is this magic green matrix? That's what we are trying to find, right? We want to find what this green matrix is. We want to know how we can convert this to the identity. So, we want to know what this is, okay? So, I'm just going to give you the formula. Handle. I'll just give you the formula. Or should I? <gasps> let's call this A. A. And let's call this Ah, and let's call this the inverse matrix, A negative 1, okay? So what so, is this, this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, look. So, what I'm proposing is this. We have our original matrix, and of course it's equal to itself, right? Mm -hmm. But if I multiply my matrix by the inverse, it's going to be equal to what? I, the identity. The identity. So our goal is to find what this inverse oh, is. Oh, this works like in regular arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Because a number multiplied by its inverse is 1. And the identity matrix acts like a 1 in matrix multiplication. Exactly, exactly. You can think of it like that. The identity matrix is almost like the reciprocal in regular multiplication. For example, just like 5 times 1 over 5 gives you 1, 1 is the identity here, identity, uh, 1 over 5 is what? What can you uh, call inverse. it? You can call it the inverse. And we and can call the 5 the original matrix. That's, that can be our original, uh, our original number. So, so can these it are, help us? These are two analogous situations, okay? So can it help us to uh, understand this problem? Yeah, so today I'm going to give you the formula. Tomorrow I'll, I'll reveal how it works, okay? So first I just want you to digest the formula, okay? So here, here it is, it's gonna look pretty ugly. Ready? Okay, so this we... This is telling me how does it work. So uh, this is a two by two matrix, right? A, B, C, D. Okay, so the inverse of this matrix, if this is the matrix A, its inverse is gonna be the following, ready? One over A, one over B, one over no, B. No, no, no. You can try that, but it won't work. It's going to be oh, one over. Be one determinant? Over. Uh, determinants doesn't come in now. It doesn't come in now. Uh, and I don't know what determinants are. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but we're going to take this scalar quantity, multiply it by a kind of transformed matrix. So what are we going to do? We're going to... Are you listening to But me? we've learned! Yes. Scalar vector multiplication is impossible. It's so, uh, the same as with uh, matrices. Yes, yes. So how do you do no. scalar matrices? Scalar matrices uh, is possible. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Okay, if you didn't know that uh, before, now you know. Okay. This oh is god. the magic formula. Know? So if you have a matrix A and you want to find its inverse, this is how you can do it. First, switch these two entries. Instead of AD, you'll have BA. And then negate these two entries. Negative C, <laughs> negative B, instead of C and B. And then multiply that new matrix by this scalar. Okay? Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to prove to you that it works in today's access then. Uh, no! Why don't we try it out on the yeah. beautiful right. A we worked out? Okay, I'm now, there is no guarantee. Given by the artist Alex, who are now sleeping. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. What is our A values? Excuse me, sir. The uh, only waking person left, what is our A value? So, negative 1, 3, 2, okay, negative oh 1, God, so and 2, 3, 4. 3, 4. So, first of all, first of all, first of all. What the? Uh, okay, our student was right that this is actually something called a determinant. But we won't discuss what the determinant is right now. Is that the denominator? Excuse me, I said no question. Okay, so calculate, uh, student, excuse what this me, is. Excuse me, Mr. Rodriguez. No, student, what is AD minus BC? This is AD. AD, AD is um, 
minus four. Minus four. Uh, minus four. Uh, minus six. six. Which minus. is minus ten. Minus four. Minus six. Which is minus. Minus ten. Minus ten. Okay. So now let's play a game. What is D? D would be uh, four. four. Uh huh. A negative B would be a uh, negative three. How do you know? A B C D. Yeah. Negative three, right? What yeah. about that other two? A uh, negative two. Which one? Which one? Come on. C. Yeah, negative two, and then. And then we have four. No, there is no guarantee this will work. This is just an experiment, like most failed experiments. Okay. Okay. Now, I multiply this by this. What do I get? Mm, uh, it's four. easy. 4 times 1 over negative 10 is just negative 4 over 10. Uh, negative Simplify two. that, negative 2 over 5. Sorry. Yeah. This is. Sorry, sorry. No. Negative, two over uh, five. negative 3 over negative 10, just 3 over 10. 4 over negative 10, just 4 over negative 10. Right. Okay. Do you want to agree with this? Sure, sure, sure. So this becomes 2 over 5. This becomes 1 over 5. And now you begin to see just how nasty this can be. Okay, now, now at least we know what the inverse is. But now we want to check that it works as part of our exit trick. Okay, so let's go ahead and check if this inverse thing is bogus or actually true. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if it actually gives us the identity. Unless I've been lying to you about the formula this entire time. It's Do you hear that, Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, there's a high possibility of the former event because, uh, yes, okay. It's the 4th of July approaching, that's why they are solving math problems. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so let's multiply these two. Let's see if we get the inverse matrix. Ready? How do we multiply things? First, I want you to consider what is the best way to multiply two nasty matrices like this. Any ideas? Yeah. I want to go from left to right. So if I employ the left to right approach, what approach should I take? Mm. Columns, right? Oh, okay. Because right is columns, but left is rows. Yeah. So I'm going to be employing the rows approach. Okay, so let's do that. First, hello, hello? Are we awake? Okay, let's go. Or you know what, I'll just do that product because... No, no, the dot product is take two. Oh, uh, well, I like to no, do no, that. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Student, would, would you like to come up to the board and, uh, and perform the calculations necessary? Okay. Thank you. So, we want to multiply this by... Okay, so this is this. Row so, and column, right? Yeah, 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 whatever yeah. method you want, uh, you can. So, uh, right want, now we already know three methods. So, uh, a uh, new student, okay? Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. You have a new student, thank you for joining. Okay, so, so we want negative one of the first. So we want negative one of the first. So negative three is the tenth row. So the popularity of my lectures are evident, and now I ask you to leave the stage. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so what you failed to do, I will complete. Okay, so we will do the dot product rate. Okay, one over five. So. Um, let's do it. Minus 1 times minus 2 over 5 is just 2 over 5. 2 over 5. But you're not done. 3 times 1 over 5 is 3 over 5. Good, good, good. Well, we're using okay. the row method. We can multiply row uh, by excuse row. Excuse me, I use whatever method I like. I'm using what? the dot product way. Now, I'm going to take this row and multiply it by this column. So let's do it. Minus 3 over 10 plus plus 1. Let's take a nap row. 3. Um, audience. Uh, six, 6 over 5, negative 6 over negative 5. 6 over 5. I don't like where this is going, but I'll keep doing it for the sake of the, of the show. Uh, 2 times minus 2 over 5 is minus 4 over 5. And 2 times, sorry, uh, 4 times 1 over 5 is? Okay, good, very good. Okay, uh, am I enjoying this? No. 2 times 3 over uh, 10 is? 6 over, six 10. over 10. 4 times minus 2 over? What is this? Minus 8 over 5, right? right? Minus 8 over 5, okay. So 5 over 5, this is 1. Okay, which is uh, 1. Now, uh, okay, before, uh, we, uh, uh, before we rush anything, before we rush anything, I would like to encourage the audience 
to uh, kind of examine what's going on, okay, folks? So um, let's 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 just examine what's going on, okay? Oh, okay. Wow, <laughs> this is just zero. That's what we wanted, isn't it? And what is this? Oh, what do you know? Zero. Zero diagonals. And what is this? One. Oh, that's one. Oh my god! That's the idea. <laughs> For dream. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.